The sector OAB, OAB has an angle of 55 degrees and a radius of 15. Calculate the area of the sector, show that it rounds to 108 centimetres squared, correct to three significant figures. So, the area of a sector is the angle at the centre divided by 360 times pi r squared. So, the angle is 55, so it's going to be 55 over 360 times pi times the radius of this complete circle here, which is uh, 15 squared, so over 15 squared. Working out on my calculator, I get 107.992 centimetres squared. Rounding off, I get 108 centimetres squared, as required by the question. However, remember to use this one if you're going to use it in another part of the question. The, ra the radii OA and OB in part B are joined to make a cone. Calculate the base radius of the cone. The curved surface area of a cone, R, and slant height is A is equal to pi R L. So this is no longer the radius, this is actually the slant height. And what we've got to do is calculate the radius of this cone here. So the curved surface area is 107.99 centimetres squared. It's the area of the sector of the previous part. So 107.992 will be equal to pi r times l, which is 15. r will be 107.992 divided by 15 pi, which is 2.2916 centimetres. Rounded off, that's 2.29. But remember, we've got to use this in any other pre part of the question. Calculate the perpendicular height of the cone. Well, we just found the radius to be 2.2916 centimetres. This is the perpendicular height. So using Pythagoras' theorem, we can say that 15 squared is equal to 8 squared plus 2.2916 squared. So 8 squared will be 15 squared minus 2.2916 squared. That gives 219.74. H will be equal to the square root of that, which is equal to 14.829, sorry, 8.239, which is 14.8 centimetres. Again, remember to use this one if you're going to use it in the next part of the question. Right, for the last part of the question, a solid cone has the same, same dimensions as in part C, but the small cone has a slant height of 7.5. Notice that that's half of the original slant height, which is 15. This bit is then going to be removed. Calculate the volume of the remaining solid. The volume of a cone with radius r and height h is 1 third pi r squared h. Well, the volume of the shaded bit will be the total volume of the cone minus the volume of the small cone at the top, which has been removed. So that's going to be, if this is r, and this is half the size, this is going to be a half r, using similar triangles. If this is h, this is going to be a half h. So this will be 1 third pi r squared h is the volume of the total cone, minus 1 third pi r over 2 squared, half the radius, times h over 2. So that's going to be one third pi, taking the numbers of the previous part, 2.2916 squared, this is this radius here, times the height, which is 14.8239, which is this height here, minus one third pi of 1.1458 squared, which is going to be this height here, half of h, times 7.411. That's going to give you 71.33 centimetres cubed which is 71.3 centimetres cubed.